Hey. How are you doing? <laughs> I'm going well. So what yeah. are we going to talk about today, uh, Danny? Well, Things. today we're talking about the, uh, the recent election in the US, yep. um, which is obviously affects not just people in the US, but all of America, all of the world. Uh, there's a lot of, um, you know, military influence around the world from the US, trade, uh, and yeah, so it's a, it's a, it's a massive deal. And um, it's been a really interesting election. I think the last few elections have been really interesting. It's been a sign of the times. I think uh, um, Obama getting in was, was uh, an amazing, to have a person of colour in the White House was amazing to have, um, you know, at that time. But I think what, what led to that was, was Bush was so incompetent that people just went, we need to get as far away from that scenario right. as possible. And then suddenly this, the, the Obama being incredibly intelligent and articulate and, and 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 everything, it was just like, even though he had a, he was a person of colour, he had a name that that um, rhymed with um, a terrorist at the time, yeah. and you know it was everything was stacked against him, and he won because people people just went, we need someone intelligent in, in this job, you know, after after the incompetence of Bush, and so it was sort of like this slingshot effect of going one extreme and then the other, but of course a lot of you know racist people weren't happy with with a person of colour being in the White House, and so. Um, you know, perhaps that was an influence of going to the other extreme with with Trump. I think part of what got Trump in was people were just sick of the same, you know, whether it's the Freemasons or the Cabal or the Illuminati or whatever you want to call this group of very wealthy, very powerful people that are all interconnected. Um, and it's just the same group and it's the Bushes and it's the Clintons and it's the same group just getting in power all the time and perpetuating this um, this uh, uneven distribution of wealth and, and this poverty and, 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 and dropping bombs on different countries and, and, and just um, not running the country well at all. And so I think Trump camp comes along as an outsider and people just went, let's just go for the outsider. Anything's got to be better than more, more of the same. Yep. And, and I think that's what got Trump in initially. Um, but then while Trump was in power, you know, he really, really demonstrated some, some negative qualities. He, he, he said over 10,000 lies that has been documented and confirmed and researched. Over 10,000 lies, that's, that's just crazy. Yeah. And then he, he created an atmosphere with his rhetoric and his, and his reactions to, to events. He created an atmosphere in America which led to Two years ago, Nazis marching in the street. I mean, what, what America and many countries in the world literally went to war against, you know? And so that to, to create an atmosphere where Nazis felt comfortable to come out and, and, and the, this rise of the far right and, and racism and, and, and xenophobia, I mean, it's just like so disappointing in, in the 21st century to see that element, you know? And so, Yes, he was outside of this this group of of like really selfish um, people that that you know keep this 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 poverty and affluence um, thing going on, but he 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 didn't live up to doing a better job, right? You know, and and um, he he just made it a lot worse, and and you know, I mean, apart from his personality and the the racism and xenophobia and misogyny, apart from that stuff. Just his, what he was doing and, and, and what, you know, it, it was like divide and, literally divide and rule, like bu building a wall, you know, it was just like division, you know, and, and, and you know, he, he created an atmosphere where police just felt more comfortable killing people of colour and, and, and the way that everything was responded to, the, the cliche of if it's a white shooter, oh, it's mental health issues, if it's a black shooter, oh, it's, it's a gangster, if it's a brown shooter, it's terrorism, and, and, you know, all of these, they've become cliches now because it's just become such, such commonplace, which is so disappointing. And it's, you know, 
I think collectively humanity needs to do better. We need to address homelessness. We need to address poverty. We need to address starvation. We need to stop fighting wars. We need to stop funding military and, and space research and all of these things. And, and we can do space research once we've fed everybody and housed everybody and given health care to everyone. And, and, and once we've, we've dismantled systems that no longer serve us. They may have served us at one time in a, in a smaller framework, but you know, animal agriculture and fossil fuels and non-recyclables, that's old school. We, we, we're, we're so much smarter than that. We need to move beyond that stuff. And we need leaders that can do that, you know. And, and Sanders obviously is someone who could, could take us there. It was so disappointing that, that, that he's not in power because he's a real forward thinker. But of course, it's baby steps, our evolution. We, we've, history of humankind shows that this is how we move. We move slowly. But, you know, that hockey stick curve, you know, surely we're getting close to that precipice where we really jut up. You know, we, we saw the industrial revolution take us somewhere, the technological revolution take us somewhere. Hopefully, the next revolution will be a biological one which will inc include smart drugs. And all we need is to have more intelligence, which includes compassion, which is part of intelligence, and, and we win. But we need to get there. And if we put funding into medical research, we're more likely to get there. Technological research, it, it, that's old school. We need to go biological. We need to get smart drugs. We need to just if we're smarter, look at, look at um, the, the, the cliche of the, a lot of the Trump supporters, you know, lower economic, lower educated, middle America, inbred, redneck, you know, like, and, and the, comedy, the comedians have been, they don't need to make a parody of these people. All they do is they film these people and interview them, and then they load it up as comedy. They're not, they're not. They're not doing, creating the narrative like Bodat or, you know, they're, they're, they're just like filming them, just letting, letting them speak for themselves. And it's just laughable. It's that the, the level of ignorance is, is unfathomable. It's just bizarre. But here we are. So how do we do it um, through political systems? How do we do it? I think we need to actually change the systems themselves. In, so what, the, in what way? Well, the, w I think we need to pass legislation that... Um, moves us away from this dichotomy, this, this, this choice of two, the two big powers, that's yep. it? No, I think we need, we need an other alternative. Those